If you didn't know, the Denver Nuggets have a special young player on their team. And Patrick Insol, what a rejection by Watson. I told you, he's on the floor for his defense. Peyton Watson might not be a household name just yet, but at just 21 years old, he's quickly showcasing why he has the potential to be one of the best defenders in the entire NBA. And generally speaking, when you are not only willing, but capable of jumping over a seven foot Nikola Jokic to block a transition bucket, your defense demands attention. And the Denver Nuggets know that better than anyone else. Because following last year's championship, the biggest question mark over Denver was the loss of their sixth starter, Bruce Brown. And whilst everyone was worried about who they would bring in to replace him, this is what their general manager had to say. Some of these teams were trying to get Bruce, trying to make it worth it. It's like, just be careful what you wish for. Peyton's bigger, he's longer, he's more athletic, he guards better, he passes better, he doesn't have the experience, and he's not as good offensively yet, but we need defense more than we need offense on our team. And one thing Peyton Watson brings more than 90 99% of the NBA is defense, because over his last six games, he has recorded 17 blocks, which ranks third in the NBA during that period of time, only behind Kristaps Porzingis and Victor Wembanyama, which is made even more impressive when you consider he's playing 23 minutes a game during that stretch and is six foot eight, as opposed to seven three and seven four respectively. But don't tell Peyton Watson that he's a small forward, because as far as shot blocking goes, you might as well classify him as a seven footer, because what he can do is absurd. Just like on this play, Gobert initially gets the ball in the post and with a mismatch on Brown, Watson helps over. So Gobert makes a nice pass to Anderson, but look at Watt's ability to then turn in a split second and block the dunk attempt from a six foot nine forward. And speaking of blocking guys, out of his weight category. On this first play, McLaughlin sets a screen for Reed to attack off the catch downhill. Piwot manages to fight over that screen and then is able to swat the seven footer at the rim going downhill. Or in this play in the post, surely this time Nas Reed will just put him in the basket. Well, he hits him with an absurd spin move, but the combination of Brown and Watson are able to block the layup in unison. These were just three of his six blocks that he had in a playoff like game against the Minnesota Timberwolves for the number one seed. And like I said, you could classify him as a seven footer the way he protects the rim. But what makes him so unique is he can do that, but he's also got the ability to get out on the perimeter and make plays as well. That's turnover. And you saw the dunk on that play. Sure, an open transition dunk isn't the most impressive thing ever, but that explosiveness that you see on the defensive side of the floor also translates to the offensive side of the floor. And what makes Peyton Watson a legitimately ridiculous talent is in addition to what he can do defensively, and trust me, I've only shown you a glimpse of what he can do so far. Because how many guys his size and age do you see making plays like this against someone like DeAndre Aiden? But it would be remiss of me to not talk about his offensive game that has also shown some serious promise. Just look at him on this play, where Jokic kicks the ball out to him. He fakes the swing to the corner and look at the fluidity, taking a couple of dribbles and smoothly knocking down the mid-range shot. Or here, where again he gets the ball at the three-point line, takes a couple of dribbles, getting to the middle of the floor before rising up for the jumper. He might only be averaging six points a game, but there's a fluidity to the way he plays on offense that is scary when you consider the athletic tools he has. It's all good to the finish. Oh! And when I'm talking about his fluidity, just look at him pump fake Jay Crowder at the three point line. And all it takes is a couple of dribbles to get in the paint and finish over everyone's favorite annoyance, 
Pat Bev. These guard-like traits that you see when he dribbles to his spot or in his mid-range jumpers also translate from a playmaking perspective. Look at him get the handoff from Jokic here. He initially stops at the three-point line, takes a couple of strides, and the moment Collins helps over to contest the layup, Peabody is able to slip that pass around Collins to Jokic. Also, what's just as important as the potential he has to make plays off the bounce is the fact he can still be a threat on the floor even if he's not shooting well or doesn't have the ball in his hands. And that's simply because of his athleticism and length. Like here where he's initially in the corner, LeBron helps off to double Jokic, so Piwot slips to the baseline and is able to dunk around two bigs in the paint. Or even on this play, where this time it's Aaron Gordon initiating the offense before slipping the ball to Piwot on the baseline. And even with Chet to beat, he jumps back into Chet to create some separation before then having the ability to hang and finish. He's never going to be a guy like Aaron Gordon who puts people in the basket on mismatches, but he has the same freakish level athleticism, he just uses it in a different way. And the main way he uses his freakish athleticism is to block shots, a lot of them. Just to put into perspective what he's been doing as a shot blocker, on the season, p is averaging 2.2 blocks per 36 minutes, which amongst all non-bigs is first and it's not even close. And the best part is he gets his blocks in a variety of ways against pretty much every kind of player imaginable. Chase down blocks on LeBron James, he can do that. Blocking centers at the rim, no problem. Or how about in his rookie season when he blocked Steph Curry, not once, not twice, but three times. That's what you call defensive versatility. And it would be selling him short to only highlight his ability to block shots. Because at six foot eight, with his fluidity, he's also someone that can go out there and hang with some of the best players in the NBA. Like here where he's matched up against Kevin Durant. And you can see, even after getting a little closer to the basket, p is able to hang with KD and contest his shot in a way that legitimately had an effect on the jumper. Well, look at the perfect defense against LeBron James, where he does a great job to get around the hay screen, but look at his ability to control his jump here and forces an air ball. It's just these little details that he seems to understand as a young player. Of course, in addition to this, there are still so many plays he makes as a shot blocker that are just absurd. And this is particularly frightening to think about when you consider the potential he has in this Denver Nuggets defensive system. As a lot of us know, or if you don't, defensively, the Nuggets like to bring Jokic to the level of the screen in pick and roll situations, which means it's the job of the players behind Jokic to rotate over and either block the roller or force a pass to the corner, with Denver then scrambling to contest the shot. It's a reason the size of Michael Porter Jr. and Aaron Gordon is so important. But those two guys aren't close to is good at protecting the rim as Piwot already is. So imagine having someone that blocks shots at the rate of an elite center just casually waiting at the rim, whilst also having the ability to rotate out and contest shooters in the corner if need be. Pretty much everything you want in a modern day defensive player, Peyton Watson has that. And that just makes the Nuggets all that more scary for the next five to 10 years.